Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brie. If you guys are new and you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become part of my fam. I would love to have you stick around. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about eyelashes. So if you guys are interested on hearing my top favorite eyelashes, super affordable and just the best eyelashes, my ride or dies. Let's go ahead and hop. Now these are all from the drugstore, except I believe one pair is just like the affordable kind of eyelash where you can find them online. But all of them are pretty much like affordably priced and just ones that I rewear all the time and I get so much use out of. I wanna say I have like five or six kinds to share with you guys. I will leave a few other ones down below in the description alongside with these ones listed there, uh, as well as like a link where you guys can check them out. The ones that I'm gonna list are the ones that I can't physically show you, even that eyelashes are seriously like my favorite part of my makeup, aside from doing the skin and the highlight. Like, if I could choose another one, it would definitely be eyelashes. I just think it opens up the eyes, takes any makeup look and gives it like that extra level up. It's just amazing. Like, eyelashes do a lot for a makeup look, whether you have a lot of makeup on or you don't it still makes you look very put together and like that added spark and just kind of changes any look around. So the first pair of eyelashes that are my serious like favorites, holy grail, don't know what I would do without them. They are the Salon Perfect Wispies, but they're the 614s. These have been my favorite for about a year and a half, almost two years now. I think I wear them almost on the every day. I can wear it with a very simple makeup look like the one I have going on right now. I'm actually not wearing them today, which is a shocker, but I can wear it with like a look like this. I can wear it with absolutely no makeup on at all to look like a lash extension kind of vibe, which I love that look, like call me crazy, but if I just pop on lashes, like you look five times more alive. Like it's just a lash that I can wear in so many different ways. I can stack them to make it a little bit more like bigger, but they're like the perfect size as well as perfect length. They are long enough where they look like they're glam. Again, like that lash extension vibe. And a lot of them that I'm gonna mention kind of have that similarity where they look and can pass for that like lash extension kind of deal. Like you get five pairs in this pack and I don't just wear them once. Like I like to rewear my lashes. I like to clean them and savor them. I do like to trim these at times. I'll take a little piece off the end or whatever to kind of like customize to my eye. And I feel like just by doing that, like a little snip, kind of changes the look of the lash a little bit, but in a good way. Like you'll get like a different vibe out of it each time. They're perfect. Like they're so easy to put on. They don't have a really thick band in here as well. It's actually invisible, so it's a super easy application and they just look like they are your lashes, which is incredible. These are perfect lashes if you're a beginner and you're just starting out with eyelashes. I believe there's two other eyelashes I'm gonna mention from Salon Perfect as well that I will kind of dive into, but yes, these are hands down amazing. Now sticking with the whole Salon Perfect theme as well, if you wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic and a little bit extra volume, then I would go with the Extension Seeker. These ones are like a 3D kind of curl, so it definitely leaves your eyelashes looking like they are eyelash extensions. They definitely just look like more of a dramatic lash without having the hassle of like it being thick and feeling weird and poking you in the eye. Like it's a perfect amount of, you know, dramaticness while still being eyelash extension natural vibe. So these ones I would cut a little bit and trim right at the outer corner, but it's seriously so good. This is called the C curl and I really love the V curl as well. So these are the 662s from Salon Perfect and I also like the 660, I wanna say 661, I'm not too positive, but it was the V curl one. Used those multiple times and now they're gone, I would have to repurchase, but those are also ones that I'm obsessed with. I feel like these just look great on everyone's eyes, and of course you can trim them, kind of change up the shape just a little bit of the lash, but also kind of tone down the amount of flare. You kind of have control over that. I always recommend if you're gonna trim your lashes, always trim from the outer corner, not the inner corner. Next pair is from Ardell, and I used to use these ones all the time, and I still continue to use them, and when I used to do makeup on other people, on clients, I would always use these ones as well, depending on what event they were going to, but if they just wanted kind of something simple, this is something that I always would recommend. They are the Ardell Double Up Double Wispies. So I do like the regular Wispies, but these kind of give an extra added spice. A little bit fluffier as well because they are kind of doubled up, so they're like double stacked. You can always make your own eyelashes like that as well. If you didn't know, you kind of just stack them twice and you have a double up lash. So the ones from Ardell are honestly really, really good and they're super easy to apply. Again, invisible band so 
You're not gonna see anything. It's not gonna be poking you. It's not gonna be super dramatic. You can get away with wearing these with no eyeshadow. You can wear with the full face of makeup, full glam. They're definitely lashes that can be worn on the everyday or built up to a very dramatic look. I do like lashes that kind of taper off in the inner corner, like a little bit smaller and then kind of get a little bit fluffier and bigger towards the outer corner. I don't love when lashes kind of just are one length. It doesn't really look too flattering on me. Like as you can see these ones, which I'll get into in a second, they kind of start out a little bit smaller and then fan out to a nice like curl and flare. That's just super pretty, makes the eyes look very, very gorgeous. And that's just something that I go towards. And these are the double wispies. So the original wispies remind me a little bit more of the Salon Perfect ones. They are right over here. Sorry, the board is a little bit broken. It got stuck in my drawer. <laughs> Um, they are the first ones right there. They're a little bit different than these ones. These ones have more of a obviously doubled effect, but they're a little bit more spidery like. Same thing with the band, invisible, super easy to get on. These are always the two lashes that I would do on clients whenever I had to do makeup for somebody, but also for myself, I think they look really flattering, especially for my eye shape and eye size. They're really lashes you cannot go wrong with. So another pair that I don't have on hand right now, which I do have the packaging, but it's a different lash. It's by Salon Perfect, and it's actually the Britney Bear collection. It's her collab with them. They are the lashes called Exotic. If I can find a photo, I'll put on the screen. If not, I'll leave it below. I think that they are limited edition, so if you can't always get them, I'm so sorry and I feel terrible, but those are the ones I've been using all the time recently. Like I've been switching them back and forth, obviously with other ones, but you guys, I cannot get enough of it. Like. I've rewore them, I wanna say like six times already. And this is a fairly new package that was sent to me. So yeah, fairly new collab. I wear them a lot. They definitely remind me of the Salon Perfect 614s, but amped up like 5%. Like a little bit shorter in length, but a little bit more hairs. And it's just like the perfect eye-opening lash. So cute, I love them. If this sounds repetitive, I'm so sorry, but they're all pretty much like the same kind of style for me. This one is by the brand Kiss, and these are the Kiss 01 lashes. You guys, I'm so obsessed with these right now. So I used to use the Kiss 11 lashes, and those ones are amazing as well. They're a little bit shorter and smaller than these ones. I want to really go for a lash that's more long in the lash as opposed to like thickness. And I'm actually wearing them today. I'm so obsessed with these like very natural looking but it's definitely a lash i could take to the next level if i wanted to so this is the multi-pack so you get five in here and i want to say this is about ten dollars really not expensive only because you can rewear them just like i do with all of my other ones i feel like the way you're applying it also kind of helps with the length of them as well apply it like this as opposed to this because this is just gonna make them come outwards and more on this angle is gonna make them have a nice curl and a little bit uplifted. And that's how I like to do it because I like to have that look to my eyes, more like a doll kind of look. These are so, so good. The last pair of lashes that I'm gonna talk about are actually from Bold Face Makeup. And they are these lashes right here. Now this particular style is not the one I'm gonna be talking about. I actually don't have the style that I love to wear here. I'm gonna leave it listed below and on the screen of the ones that I used to wear. I went back and forth between a few. They are such good lashes if you want a little bit more of a dramatic vibe. Now they do have dramatic lashes, way more than this, just like this, and then they have them looking super natural. This is kind of just like your happy medium lash. This one is called the Thrill Seeker, and I just love the way that they look on the eyes. They're very complimenting, but again, the perfect amount of dramatic. So they do have lashes that have the invisible band as well, but if you were to go a little bit more dramatic, just like these ones right here, they do have the lash band right there. I love them, you really can't go wrong with them as well, obsessed. Yeah, those are all the lashes that I have to share with you guys today. It wasn't a ton, but these are like my go-to kind of lashes. I also don't wear eyeliner as often, so you guys probably are aware of that. And when I do, it's a very, very minimal amount, like either a tiny line or like a very baby wing. I don't do a ton. I feel like with all these lashes, you don't have to do that, which is amazing for people like me that don't really love a wing. But if you love a wing, you can still get away with it. You can still use it and rock it and they're still gonna look fire. So sometimes I feel like a wing or liner takes away from the lash. So yeah, that's why I don't always do it as well. You need to try them if you haven't. They are just super beautiful and gorgeous and change any eye look and any makeup look I feel in like a second. So I would highly recommend all those. And yeah, I believe that is all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let us know what your favorite lashes are because I'm always down to try new ones, especially when they look like lash extensions. 
<laughs> when they just look pretty natural but glam at the same time. That's my obsession. Glam but natural. Pretty simple. So I believe that is all for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.